Hey, what's going on? And welcome back to another episode of the Unity Craft SMP server. And this is episode two. And today I want to start off in front of the little hobbit hole that we built last episode. So I am pre-recording this, so I do not know how you guys reacted to this hobbit hole, but in my opinion, it looks pretty, pretty nice, pretty detailed. And the inside, we have all the storage area. We have this little. Uh, you know cooking area and i still have to move this but in today's episode i want to get silk touch uh, to move the things in and this is gonna be for our pumpkin farm that i want to build in today's episode but first of all i want to show you that i have made a diamond pickaxe and i want a uh, silk touch badly on it okay i want silk touch badly on it and where's my diamond pickaxe where is it i, I oh it's, it's in my inventory okay it's right here and uh, that means we only have two diamonds left so i really want to do a mining session at the start of the episode a real really really quick mining session uh, hopefully we get tons of diamonds i have fortune three now this is uh, this bad boy got fortune three i put the book on here so we are good to go with fortune and i want to see how many diamonds coal gold iron all that stuff that i'm gonna get i'm gonna need tons of iron and stuff so we're gonna do a little mining session before we start today's episode and uh hope you enjoyed let me know down in the comments how many diamonds you think i'll get how many gold how many uh coal how many iron how little game you know don't cheat don't cheat don't skip to the front and look how many diamonds i get but hopefully we get a lot and yeah without further ado hope you enjoy the little time lapse oh look at this benny is selling an elytra for 12 diamonds and i just replied yes quickly so hopefully we can get it and i'm very very excited to get an elytra this episode i did tell you guys that we're gonna get elytra this episode and i'm getting too excited okay i need to calm down okay so benny and i have agreed a deal of i think it's a uh, 12 diamonds for an elytra and i'm so excited uh so we're gonna start okay we're gonna start by mining and i'm gonna be so motivated to get so many diamonds so hopefully we can get at least 10 diamonds I have two 10 diamonds right now so I can pay him go quickly get the lighter before anybody else does and uh, start flying around Okay, so I know that was a really short time lapse. That's because we got diamonds right away. I I, I did mine a lot, uh, but we got 18 diamonds, which means we can struck a deal with Benny. And uh, if you guys probably see the chat in the uh, time lapse, Benny and I have made a deal for also two extra enchantments on the Elytra. So we're gonna get him breaking three mending Elytra for 14. Okay, first he asked for 15. I asked, uh, can you do 14? And he can. So 14 diamonds for a crazy Elytra. Boy, I am so excited. Let's go pick that up right now. So let's go and find Benny. Where is he? He should be there. That is the community portal. Maybe he's on the other side. Oh, there he is. The man himself. The man himself. I'm so excited. Oh, what? 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 I'm right here. <laughs> I'm right here. Okay, so 14 diamonds. Uh, that is uh, here. There we go, guys. I'm so excited. Thank you so much, Benny. Uh, you are a life saver all right thank you man i'll see you later okay okay we got it we got it guys we got the elytra i'm gonna try it on I, I i got some rockets not much but oh that feels so good finally we can use the i don't want to die i don't want to die oh god finally we can use the elytra a little bit okay i'm so happy and uh that was a big success i was planning to go to the end and fight the ender dragon or do some end raiding just for the elytra that would have taken me hours now i just got it in like five minutes so thank you so much benny and now let's get back to mining because we still have to get diamonds we only have six so hopefully we can get like 70 okay that's impossible hopefully we can get a few let's go back down there
Okay, guys, so that was a very, very successful mining trip. Uh, as you saw, I got tons and tons of diamonds towards the start of the uh, time lapse. I, I just found diamonds after diamonds after diamonds. But right now, it uh, at, towards the end, I mean, it cool, kind of cooled down. Just found a couple of diamonds. So... But it's fine, you know, it's fine. Uh, we got 52 diamonds, and as you saw from the chat, and uh, as you saw, saw from the chat right now, um, I'm buying something from Benny again, and that's gonna be another Elytra. Now, this one's gonna be un uh, enchanted, and that's because I know you guys are probably like, why are you gonna buy another Elytra? Because I can die, guys, and uh, I wanna have a spare Elytra. Elytras are so rare, so I'm just gonna keep one as a spare. I'm not gonna buy enchantments, I'm not gonna use the diamonds on that. And also, I also asked for a Shulker box. He's selling three for six, and that's so fair. Definitely gonna get it. I have 52 in total, found 50 from that mining trip. I had two. So we have tons of diamonds, we can easily use it, and also one ender chest for one diamond. So I think that is a total of uh, 18 diamonds, which is very, very fair. We're getting really, really cool uh, stuff. So I'm just going to wait here, and we'll see when Benny comes around. Um, Benny? Are you okay? What, what was that? Okay, here we go. 18 diamonds. We still have 34 left, so... I will gladly take that. That is a lot. And three shulker boxes. That's crazy. Three shulker boxes. I'm so happy. And an ender chest and an elytra. Thank you so much, my man. He has been a lifesaver. And now we have tons of stuff for just 18 diamonds. So that was super worth it. And why am I going that way? I want to actually go to the, uh, spawn. Because I heard that there's a redstone shop and I definitely want to check it out and see what's up. Because today, after this, I want to do, start on my pumpkin farm. I want to build my little pumpkin farm so that I can start trading. And to do that, we're going to need tons of pistons and observers. So I'm going to check the shop out. Uh, I think it's over here. Here, yeah, it's a little redstone lab. I think it looks pretty cool. It looks really clean. So it was done by the new member. It's a redstone store. It's a pretty pretty cool. It's also selling concrete, so that could be useful. But let me just see the pricing. So redstone is thirty-two. We don't need redstone dust. Repeaters, um, we don't need repeaters for that. Power rail, maybe. Um, I'll see what happens with power. I have tons of gold though. Where's pistons? Does he not sell pistons? That'll be. Oh, here we go. Thirty-two for a diamond. Now, how many pistons are we gonna need for the pump? Pumpkin. I have no pumpkin farm. I have no idea. Gonna do a little bit of a quick math session. We're gonna need like around 40. So I just did my math around 40. Um, I'm gonna buy a stack. I don't think we're gonna need more than that. Uh, if we do, um, well, I mean, like 32 is less than 40. I know, but like, uh, I can make it on my own. I have enough 32 a diamond. That is very, very cheap. So definitely gonna get that. Does he have observers? Now that is the thing I want. I have tons of uh, quartz, so I don't really mind if he doesn't. But he does not have observers, so that is a bummer. But we got what we came here for. We got some pistons, so I'm happy with that. So I'm gonna go back home, uh, start building the little uh, pumpkin farm, and then we will hopefully. I want to work on a villager breeder in today's episode hopefully we can get that done but we're gonna do a little quick uh, pumpkin farm building session because we need pumpkins actually first we might enchant our pickaxe because we need silk touch and uh I need to go enchant it, so I'm gonna go do that, actually, I think that could be more useful. I think that is the end portal, I'm not really sure, but I'm gonna go enchant this pickaxe. Uh, I want Silk Touch, obviously, so I'm gonna take my diamonds just in case we can buy Silk Touch. Um, but we'll, we'll, we'll see, if we can get Silk Touch from the Enderman uh, farm, that is great. So I'm just gonna leave this here and put my diamonds, my elytra. Uh, I'm just gonna put all of these good stuff here but just in case I die I'm gonna put this too so we're gonna take this we're gonna take some lapis and uh, I'm gonna take two diamonds so that I can buy silk touch if we don't get it you know what I'm just gonna take um, six so that if we don't get any good enchantments I'll just buy a few more books but okay I'm gonna go to the enderman farm and uh, we'll see what we can get probably should make uh, another Iron sword, so let's do that. Oh, we have four diamonds in here. I totally forgot about this. Yo, that is a lot of diamonds. Oh my god, we have a lot more diamonds than I thought. We have four more diamonds. I put in that chest, remember? At, uh, before, uh, at, well, uh, uh, when we first bought the elytra? Yeah, yeah, we got that. So I'm gonna put that four diamonds in here. Dude, we're rich. We're rich. I'm, I'm really happy with our progress. And uh, now, let's just make ourselves another stone not stone sword an iron sword and then we'll see what happens efficiency four i'm not gonna risk it i'm just gonna enchant this shovel of efficiency one something i want silk touch for sure and efficiency four again so i'm just i just i guess i have to take efficiency four 
Okay, I need a lapis uh, to enchant. There we go. And uh, please, this place is so loud, by the way. Please give me silk touch. Please give me... Oh, just efficiency four. All right. That's not bad, okay? At least I didn't get fortune. Which, I mean, like, fortune is a great thing, but we don't need it right now. So, at least I didn't get fortune. And now, let's just go back and buy a silk touch book from Cinex. And also an unbreaking green book, because those are quite important. And maybe mending. I'm not sure. You know what? Yeah, let's get mending, too. Here it is. Okay, let's get a silk touch book. Two diamonds. Let's go. Let's get a unbreaking three book. Two diamonds. Let's go. We're rich. Don't worry about it, guys. We have tons of diamonds. I don't really mind spending all of it. Uh, mending. Here we go. And two diamonds. That is a pretty, pretty good pickaxe, right? That's going to be a pretty, pretty good pickaxe. And is there a... Perhaps... I don't know. Is there a anvil here? I definitely want put to put it on here because what if we don't have enough levels and I have to go back? So, is there an anvil? Cynex, you don't have an anvil. Are you kidding me? You have all this, and you don't have a single anvil. Okay, okay, I guess guess we're going back home. Okay, we are back home. So, let's put our little enchantment here. And I think I'm going to put Silk Touch first, because that's the most important. And then I'm mending, and then I'm breaking. We easily have enough. Let's even name it something nice, you know. Why not, right? That's a pretty good name. Uh, that's a pretty good name. So now we have these two picks. Uh, look at this. You know, you see, you like the name? Maybe you should do it. Like and subscribe right now. Okay, guys. Uh, but other than that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start this. And uh, I have all the, uh, this is all the space that we're going to need. And uh, I think I'm going to do a little replay mod time lapse for the pumpkin farm. You guys have been loving the replay mods. I've been, I just love it. All right? I love the time. It's so good to look at it. The last episode, we did a bunch for the interior and exterior. So I'm going to time lapse it. Hopefully you guys like it. It's nothing complicated. It's just a simple melon pumpkin farm by, you know, just this common design that everybody uses. It's super efficient. And I'm looking to build a second one in the future, but right now let's just stick to one and uh, let's just start get bu get to building it. Alright, enjoy the time lapse and I'll see you guys when I'm done building that machine. So that was a pretty easy build. Okay, so we have completed the pumpkin farm and uh, it was pretty easy. I did not record a time lapse. I'm really sorry if you were looking forward to that because... I didn't build this in one take. I actually built this little by little throughout the, throughout like a day because I was really busy. So I just hopped on, play a little bit, play a little bit. And I got it done. It was pretty simple. And I did decorate it a little bit, add this kind of roofing. I think this looks really, really nice. Um, the pumpkin farm is looking nice. I added this glass so that I could see when the minecart stopped because that usually happens in a server. And uh, it's going incredibly well. I just built one for now. I'm definitely, definitely looking to build two. But... I think one is perfect. I think one is good for now. And look how much we have gotten. That is a lot. Okay, I've just been AFK for like a few minutes. And uh, that is a lot. And uh, guys, we're not done with today's episode. What I want to work on mainly for today's episode is villagers, villagers, villagers. Okay, I want to get a villager breeder set up today right now. Okay, by the end of the episode, I want to get a villager breeder set up. Not going to work on the villager trading hall and stuff like that. Just the villager breeder alone. I want to get that set up and uh, hopefully get some villagers as quick as possible. And I have exactly the area to get it done right over. Oh, this is uh, this block the way. Right over there. I'm, I'm going to show you guys that right now. But first, you are probably wondering what this orange box is. I bought 12 rockets for 6 diamonds from Cinex. And I got 2 stacks of gold ingots and a shulker box for free they gave me that that is so nice and that is definitely worth six diamonds i'll pay more than six diamonds i'll be happy with that so that was such a bargain i had to get it right away now i have rockets for days that is amazing a shulker box and tons of gold i mean he has a gold farm but still that's a lot of gold and i'm really really happy with that we can use that for powered rails and uh now that i have showed you guys that i want to show you what i have planned for a few farms i want to do so in this area this is a starter base and now that our starter base is fully completed i want to show you a few farms i want to work on now this uh, i have mined a little bit okay can you stop shooting at me okay the zombies are gonna die so i've marked two chunks out and you guys probably know what they are okay they are slime chunks exactly so that is amazing we have two slime chunks literally right next to each other in front of our base so we're gonna build that in literally in like the next a few episodes i want to get that done in an episode that is good enough to supply the whole server with slime and i want to open a slime shop and uh, a double chunk is just perfect okay a double chunk is just perfect i have built a little ladder down here 
I haven't dug much. Uh, I will be working on it between episodes just to dig little by little. Uh, now that we have uh, diamond pickaxes and pretty good pickaxes, um, we have to dig from here. Now, I've just dig a little bit. That's not much at all. But I'm just going to continue digging it until uh, bedrock. We'll see what happens. Um, it shouldn't take long because we're going to start digging from level 40. So that's going to be a fun project for a future episode. But we're not going to touch that in today's episode. Today's episode, I'm going to build a villager breeder right here. I want to set one up and uh, hopefully uh, drop the villagers, uh, the baby villagers here. And then we can have a little temporary villager hall here. Nothing special, just something that we can use in between episodes. We'll have a proper one. I know exactly where I want to put the proper one. And uh, you have to stay tuned to find out because it's going to be a mega episode. But that's not in today's episode. So I'm going to work on this. Uh, I have all the materials needed, some of my inventory. Everything is here. I'm going to be using a design from Logic Geek. Uh, I will leave his video in the description. If you want to go check out and build one for yourself it is working in 1.16 so that is really really good and uh, what i want to do now is i don't want to do a time lapse anymore because it's a really short one guys it's literally like really really easy design just to getting the villagers are gonna be a little bit of a problem but other than that it's a really easy design so i'm just gonna build it um do a little bit of jump cuts you guys are gonna be here and see the progress and uh, i have a villager a village I found a village and I have linked a portal to it uh, in the nether so it should be easier to get villagers but we'll see what happens with them. You can never, you, you never know with villagers. So okay, by the way I have sky, uh, clouds turned on and boy I do not like the clouds in Minecraft. Gotta remove that. Okay, I got distracted there. Now let's start with the little build. Oh and by the way I got a diamond shovel. <laughs> yeah that's it. Just letting you know. Okay, so we have finished the first stage of the villager breeder, and that was actually really, really simple. This villager breeder is really, really simple. Now we have to get the villagers in, and this is it, by the way. This is the first stage. Uh, I know that it doesn't look like much, but we still have to get the villagers in, and uh, that is going to be the problem. So... Wish me luck. So we are out of rails and I am out of iron. But I do know that there is an iron shop in this uh, community uh, district. And I think I already see it. I think I'm right beside the redstone shop. Guys, by the way, these are not official shops. So don't worry. I know it looks a little bit bad. Okay, it looks bad. But these are not official shops. And look at this. The Mo T Tony Stark Memorial Iron Shop by Corey, the same guy that sells it last season. And he's selling it for the same price. One diamond, three stacks of iron, which is such an amazing price. Okay, I'm so happy he sells it for that price. And, uh, oh, I didn't even bring enough diamonds. I didn't even bring enough diamonds to buy the whole thing. Okay, okay. No, I, I mean, I bought enough, I bought enough diamonds to buy the whole thing, but... Oh, come on, he, he needs to stock a little bit more, but that's fine. Okay, let me just check. Three stacks of iron for one diamond. All right. Obviously, he has got some sales, so that is good. We just literally bought out his whole shop, so hopefully that is enough rails, okay? If, if not, I don't know what I'm going to do. So, this is the village that we're working with. A pretty good village. I, there's quite a lot of um, villagers, so that is good. Hopefully, we can get them in this portal. I know it's a little bit in an awkward position on top of a house, but hopefully we can get it. Ah, uh, man, I hate. Let me repeat that. I hate working with villagers. Okay, we got our first guy in. So far, so good. We have a farmer. I accidentally punched him. I know he's not. He's so pissed at me. Come on, man. I'm sorry I punched at you. But, all right. We got to get another one in. And uh, hopefully, it wasn't as hard as this one was. Because if it is, I'm dead. Okay. We got another one coming. Go on, go on. Oh, my God. We are so close. And I'm so happy. Because working with villagers. Oh, oh, I thought I killed him. <laughs> working with villagers. It's, it's terrible, guys. Okay. Don't do it. Honestly, it's terrible. Just build a villager breeder. Yeah, it's terrible. My dude, you literally have one place to go. And it's in here. You have nowhere else to go. Just get in. Oh, thank... Oh. Wow. He listened. Okay, so the carrots are in place. I got the carrots from Cynix, by the way. So thank you so much, Cynix, again, for helping me out. And uh, now we have to remove these guys. I'm so nervous. I don't want them to do anything, okay? Don't do anything bad, guys. I don't want to hit you. Please. Please. Okay, I'm just going to hit this. Okay, here we go. What's going to happen? I'm so nervous. Let me just throw that down here so I can pick this up. What's going to happen? Is he going to stop planting? Please? Okay. He's looking at his crop. Oh, it's not grown yet. Okay. I'm just going to leave that. And uh, I got to leave this room. How am I going to leave it? Just fly out. All right. There we go. Now I'm going to continue building it. Uh, I'm going to start building where the kids are going to fall. And uh, after that, we should be done. And I'm very glad we're almost over because I don't want to build this village of anymore. It's extremely frustrating. So... 
I can't wait for a spider to spawn. It's going to take forever. So I know who has some string, who should have some string. All right. So if you know, this is MV's base and I'm going to steal some string for him because why not? Yes, he has string. He has string. I'm going to take one. No, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take all of this. I'm going to say I stole your string. There we go. I think I think it was 20 string. I don't know. I'm just going to say I stole your string. Okay, I actually need some more bones. So let's see if he has any bones. Um, I need some bone meal. Okay, I'm going to take... Okay, I'm not going to take that. All right. Um, do I have any... Is there any bones? Does he have any bones? Literally anything. Uh, It doesn't look like he has, which is bad. Okay, he doesn't have any bones. Are you kidding me? Dude... I love his hut though, he's really cute. Um, any, any bones? Any, any bones? No? No bones? Okay. Alright. Well, that's great. Now let's just get back to our base. It's getting dark and I'm getting scared. And, uh, let's just go back and, uh, finish this villager breeder and end the episode because it's been so long. You're kidding me. Now there's a spider. When I needed one, there isn't, but now there's a spider, and he didn't even drop a string. Okay. Alright, guys, but we have finished the villager breeder completely, and if you actually look from the top, it's actually really small. It's a really compact design, but it's super, super efficient, so don't worry about it. You can't even, you can barely see it, alright? So, one thing I did extra, and it was in the tutorial, is I added a roof so that they can get struck by lightning. So, we are perfectly safe, and everything has been secured. So, the villagers, the adult villagers are gonna come here, they're gonna be on this block, and then once we press that button, a minecart will just grab a villager, the villager will just be on their way. So, yeah, we can add, like, you know, little zombie, uh, like, zombifying chambers, and, you know, we can, uh, you know, cure them back, get discounts, and add a, just a, you know, mini uh, villager trading hall, you know, just a temporary one over here just to get all the villagers set up because I want a per more permanent location than here you know this is just this is just a starter house with all our stuff so I'm gonna add a villager training all here maybe I'll, add, I'll get a few villagers in between episodes but that is gonna be it for today's episode uh, we did quite a lot today was one of the most productive episodes in unity craft history we got a pumpkin farm we did mining we got tons of materials and a we built this awesome, awesome villager breeder, and uh, that is uh, seems to be working. Uh, I will just wait a little bit to see if we get any babies. Uh, we should get, so I'm a little bit concerned because we haven't gotten any, and it's been a few minutes. So we'll just see what happens. Um, hopefully we do. Hopefully we get a villager up and coming. But that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe for more, and comment what other things you would like to see. And remember, a lot of people who watch my videos are not even subscribed, so subscribe. Let's all hit 300 subscribers to together, okay? We are on 253, so we are pretty, pretty close. Let's hit 300 subscribers by the end of the month, okay? I'm going to go a little bit crazy. End of the month, 300 subscribers. That's my goal. Let's see if we can hit it, and uh, hopefully you guys help me out. And let me know in the comments if you have subscribed, so I can give you a huge, huge shout-out and stuff like that. But that's going to be it for today's video. And one thing we always say is we always give shout-outs to people who are going to subscribe, new viewers. And I want to give a massive shout-out, the biggest shout-out to everybody who is subscribed. Thank you so much. I love every single one of you you watch my videos and it's just amazing to make videos for every single one of you and i will gladly do it and take my time and get a lot of done and do episodes that you really 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 enjoy but that's gonna be it for today's episode if you did like this video make sure you guys smash that like button go join our unity craft discord server go check out my merch the link will be down in the description to support me and uh, yeah i'm gonna see you guys in the next video and i got this soul.